All right, welcome back to the last video. This video, I will show you how to solve the dreaded top layer. Now, the top layer is the hardest out of all the layers, but it's still not overly complicated. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, after you've done the middle layer, you should notice that your top layer will look maybe something like this. Uh, what we're trying to do is we try, we're trying to get the cross and uh, basically do what we did on the bottom layer. Get the cross on the top, get the cross, then put the pieces in. But it's done a lot differently, mainly with longer algorithms, but it's not going to be too bad. So you should notice you have one of four cases. First case is what I have, and this is where you have basically a dot in the middle and nothing else. No edge pieces at all, because we're trying to get the cross. The next case is that you have an L, a little green L, somewhere around here. If you have the little green L, you want to uh, have it so it's in the top right corner, uh, no, top left corner like this, so it looks exactly like that. A line like that, which in that case you want to go straight across like a belt, or a cross. Now if you have the cross, you don't do this algorithm, but write it down because you're definitely going to need it. And this algorithm goes front, right, up, right, right counter, up counter, front counter. And now I have the L, so I turn the L so it's in the top right corner. If you had the line, you should have the cross. If you had the L, you should have the line. Front, right, up, right counter, uh, up counter, front. And now I have the line. Front, right, up, right counter, up counter, front. And there you go. Done correctly, you should have the cross. So now that I have the cross, that doesn't necessarily mean each edge piece is in the correct spot. If you look around in your Rubik's Cube, you most likely have something like this, where each piece is in a improper location, with the exception of maybe one. What you want to do is that you want to turn the top layer until you find two pieces that are in the correct spot. In this case, these two are white and orange. And it's either going to be like this, where they're next to each other, or they're across from each other, like uh, it would be yellow here and white here. So if you have have it like it's across from each other, yellow and white, you want to hold it so that one of the colors is in the uh, one of the correct pieces is in the front and one of them is in the back. So like a line. And if you have it like I do, you want to hold it exactly like this, where one's in the back and one's on the right side. And you want to do this algorithm, right, up, right, uh, right counter, up, right, right two. So you want to turn, uh, or not, up two, sorry, up two. So you want to turn the top layer twice, right counter. And uh, if you had it like me, should be solved. If you didn't, if you had the line, you need to do it once more. So again, that algorithm is right, up, right, counter, up, right, up, two, right, counter, and right, up, right, counter, up, right, up, two, right, counter. So now I have the cross. Now we have the cross correct. What we need to do now is get the edge pieces, we need to work on the edge pieces. Now, there's two things we need to do with the edge pieces. The first thing is getting them in the correct location. The next thing is flipping them correctly. So, you wanna look around and see, I got a lucky case. I got it where they're in the correct, all of them are in the correct location. Uh, if you got super, super lucky, your Rubik's Cube is solved. If that then congratulations. Uh, but most likely you have it where one piece is in the correct spot, the rest of them are in different locations, or none of them are in the correct spot. 
Uh, now this next algorithm, if one of them is in the correct spot, you want to hold it so it's in the, uh, so that correct piece is in the bottom right hand corner, like this. If none of them are in the correct spot, you can just hold it anywhere. And this algorithm is uh, up, it goes up, right, up counter, left counter, up, right counter, up, counter, left. And uh, it should be, you should not have to do this. If you had one of the pieces in the correct spot, you should have uh, to do this no more than twice. And if you had no creases, uh, pieces in the correct spot, look around to see if you do. And again, that algorithm is up, right, up counter, uh, left counter, up, right counter, up counter, left, and up, right, up counter, left counter, up, right counter, up, counter, left. So now that you have them in the correct location, you can do probably the simplest algorithm you'll encounter. <laughs> uh, so what we want to do is if you have, um, so there's a case we need to do. It's very, very simple. It's a very simple algorithm. So you want to look around, see how many pieces you need to do. The mo least you should have to do is two, like this and that. What the hell was that? Oh, something fell down. Uh, excuse my language. And like me, you should either have all of them need to be flipped, three of them need to be flipped like me, or two of them need to fl be flipped. If you have one, all of them are solved but one, um, then that's just an issue with your Rubik's Cube and one piece got flipped by mistake. Uh, you know, it's not part of the puzzle. So, the uh, way we do this is a very simple algorithm. That algorithm is right counter, down counter, right, down. That's all you gotta do. Right counter, down counter, right, down. Right counter, down counter, right, down. Right counter, down counter, right, down. And you wanna keep doing it until the piece is flipped the correct way. If you overdid it, like if you flipped it and uh, it's already flipped but you did it again, that's okay, because if you keep doing it, you're just gonna get in the same location. So uh, if I just keep doing this, it's back. So you want to turn, this is really, really important. You want to turn the top layer only, only the top layer. And you want to do right counter, down counter, right down, right counter, down counter, right down, right down, counter, down counter, right down, right counter, down counter, right down. Now it looks like we're messing up the Rubik's Cube, but what we're actually doing, we're solving it. Right counter, down counter, right down, right counter, down counter, right down, right counter, down counter, right down, right counter, down counter, right down. Ta da! And now you should have a solved Rubik's Cube. So, congratulations, you have just learned how to solve the tricky 3x3 Rubik's Cube. So, that's it for this. For this group of videos, if you have any comments or questions, please post them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. So thanks for watching.